it is also related to the uh, diffusivity of the substrate and uh, it is related as uh, diffusivity into the cross sectional area of mass transfer upon the film thickness so uh, <clears throat> you can write down here uh, d is the diffusivity diffusivity <coughs> or the coefficient of diffusion or the diffusion coefficient of s or diffusion coefficient of s in the film in the film and delta is the film thickness so this is about the substrate transport by molecular diffusion now <coughs> we know that the enzymatic reactions occur by michaelis menten kinetics so the michaelis menten kinetics is given by the michaelis menten equation and it is v dash equals to v max dash substrate concentration in the stationary phase upon km plus substrate concentration in the stationary phase since at steady state at steady state v dash equals to j that means v max dash s upon km plus s equals to h bulk minus ss sb minus ss now this equation can be converted into a dimensionless equation into its dimensionless form and uh, <clears throat> it is very helpful in chemical engineering we uh, have many dimensionless constants so to obtain uh, one such dimensionless constant for edr we will convert this equation into its dimensionless form so to convert this or uh, we can say that um, the dimensionless form for this equation can be obtained by by the help of following relationships following relationships and what are these relationships these are certain dimensionless terms like for example uh, dimensionless substrate we can write it down in the form of uh, bullets or other numbered bullets dimensionless substrates dimensionless substrate concentrations substrate concentrations and they are 
substrate concentration at the it is represented by beta and uh, we write beta as for substrate con uh, dimensionless substrate concentration at the in the stationary phase and it is given by substrate concentration in the stationary phase upon km similarly there is a beta bulk beta b substrate concentration in the bulk medium upon the value of km km is a constant so dividing it by both the values by km we get uh, dimensionless substrate concentrations okay so now using these two uh, concepts of dimensionless substrates we can modify this equation and uh, and how we'll modify it let's do a step by step derivation So now we have this. We can write it uh, as our, I think, uh, the first equation. We can write it as our. We can give it a number. This is our equation one. So if we uh, if we take K M common from the uh, from this denominator, we will get. We can write it as. rewriting equation 1 we have v max dash ss upon we will take km as common and we will have ss upon km okay h s b minus s s now this becomes beta s and s s upon km again here becomes beta s we can take uh, v max this side so it will come in the denominator this side and it will be beta s upon 1 plus beta s equals to h upon v max dash and we have sb minus ss here now if we multiply this by km and divide it by km we can do so so now this can be rearranged and uh, written as beta s upon 1 plus beta s equals to h into km upon v max dash and the other km 1 km is now with these constants and the other km we can write it down inside the brackets in the form of the denominator now this can be written as beta b and this is beta s so now the relationship becomes beta b minus beta s <clears throat> okay now if you want to write it down as beta b minus beta s okay a bulk substrate bulk dimensionless substrate concentration minus substrate concentration at the surface bulk uh, dimensionless substrate concentration at the surface equals to now the when this term will go here it will cross multiply and it will become v max dash upon h into km okay and we will have here bs upon 1 plus bs 
now this term is again a constant and this constant term is called the constant terms are once again this, this is a dimensionless term because this has uh, the unit of per second and so does this value is again concentration per second and this has the value of concentration so the whole term gives us a dimensionless term the constant terms are dimensionless and and are called as and this fraction or we can say uh, and it is called as dam kohler number we will represent it by alpha d a m k o e h l e r dam kohler number alpha so what is alpha alpha is v max dash upon h to k m so v max and km are the kinetic terms and h is the diffusion term so we can uh, say that it is the ratio of kinetic parameters to the diffusional or mass transfer related parameters or the mass transfer related parameters now what is its significance it this dimension this number signifies a lot about the edr of the process of the immobilized enzyme now uh, we have left out one thing that is the uh, rate of reaction so the rate of reaction also can be related to this dam kohler number we know that michaelis menten kinetics is given by here in this case is given by v dash is equal to v max dash ss upon km plus ss okay now as we have mentioned all the dimensionless uh, uh, like earlier we have mentioned the dimensionless substrate so now we can also uh, use the concept the same concept for the rate of reaction so we can have a dimensionless dimensionless rate of reaction will be v dash upon v max dash and by this we can have we can rewrite this equation as v dash upon v max dash is equal to again we can take km common from the denominator and we will have finally ss upon km and 1 plus ss upon km okay and this becomes a dimensionless velocity i forgot to represent it as new we will represent it as new so this i can represent it as new and this would become beta s on 1 plus beta s so this can be our equation to So equation two can also be written as therefore equation two can also be written as 
बीटा बल्क माइनस बीटा एस इक्वल्स टू अल्फा बीटा एस अपॉन वन प्लस बीटा एस इजेंटेड इक्वल्स टू अल्फा इंटू न्यू ओके दिस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डायमेंशनलेस रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन now coming back to the dam kohler number <coughs> if the value of dam kohler number is high now let us assume in the first case let us assume if alpha is high that is it has a very high value then that means or uh, we can say if our alpha value have increased than our previous experiments then we can say that the ratio v max km that is the kinetic parameters have increased and h is getting limited h is getting shorter that is our dam uh, <coughs> a high value of alpha implies that the edr is significant and uh, thus the system is limited by substrate diffusion Now, alpha is high that means uh, the rate of uh, the diffusion para, uh, the diffusion is low and the kinetic parameters are high the diffusion parameters are low therefore the process is limited by diffusion this implies that the process is limited by diffusion or we can say the process is diffusion limited diffusion limited process now when the diffusion is limited that is our rate of reaction the overall rate of reaction will will be dependent upon the mass transfer rate and when the process is <coughs> diffusionally limited that means the kinetics uh, are is very high the kinetics of enzyme is very high and once the substrate reaches the enzyme it gets consumed and s is is almost negligible is very low the substrate as soon as it reaches the uh, surface of the catalyst near the enzyme it gets consumed so we have in in these conditions we have value of ss is very much low than the bulk value so our relationship the normal relationship which was given as j h s b minus ss will reduce to linear form and we will get it as h into sb okay. this is the case of diffusion limited process when alpha is high so uh, if we have a graph uh, for the rate of reaction in this case or the dimensionless rate of reaction and alpha sorry not alpha the bulk substrate concentration we'll have a straight line at a high when alpha is high when alpha is high we will have a straight line function i think this is not visible to make it a little more clear a relationship between dimensionless velocity rate of reaction and the bulk substrate concentration we will get a straight line at 
a high value of alpha. Now, similarly, in another case, in another extreme case, if value of alpha is low, if alpha is low, then this implies what? That alpha is low, that means either the kinetic parameters are low or the diffusion parameters have increased and, and hence we are getting a low value of alpha. So in any ways, uh, the, uh, a, a low alpha value signifies that now the reaction uh, is limited by the kinetic parameters. So we can say now the reaction is kinetically limited. The process is now kinetically limited that is now the rate of reaction will depend upon the kinetics of the enzyme and <clears throat> now if we uh, imagine the case again the same enzyme immobilized on the support okay. and there is the film the bulk concentration so being kinetically limited means the diffusion is not limiting the process the diffusion is very fast and the substrate enters the station the stationary layer and this concentration of substrate is almost equivalent to the bulk substrate, uh, substrate concentration as uh, there is a continuous supply there is an uh, faster supply of uh, substrate than the consumption of substrate okay so the reaction is kinetically limited and this would be equivalent to the observed kinetics which will depend upon the bulk substrate concentration Okay. And in this case, similarly, if you plot a graph between the dimensionless rate of reaction and the bulk substrate concentration, we will get a michaelis menten plot. We will get a michaelis menten plot. And the value of alpha for this this will be because this the nature of this plot will tell us that our dam color number is value is low the dam color number value is low so if we want to judge by the graphs if we have many such graphs So as the dam color number increases, we'll have a straight line. <clears throat> and as the dam color number decreases, we will start getting a curve like that of a more uh, tending towards more tending more towards the Michaelis Menten type of plot. Now, this uh, the value of dam color number. The most preferable value of uh, dam color number is obviously a low value because uh, the diffusion restrictions are minimum in this case. There is no uh, loss of activity due to the diffusion limitations. Only uh, the kinetics of enzymes, the kinetics of enzyme is what is being depicted here. So this is the most favorable case 
uh, for immobilized enzymes but again it is favorable only with a high rate of substrate transport that is we are getting the enzyme is uh, kinetically limited we are getting good kinetics of enzyme the kinetics is high we are getting good yield that means it is good because at high substrate concentration obviously we will get a better yield okay a better conversion rate and there are certain cases because in this case what we are getting is a michaelis menten plot a curve but there are many situations where we require a linear curve between the rate of reaction and the substrate concentration so that we can calibrate the system especially in case of enzyme electrodes okay we can write it that uh, this is normally not this we can write it as a, a low value a low alpha value a low alpha value is preferred is desirable is desirable if the substrate transport rate is high if the substrate transport is high but in some cases or uh, let me mention the case but in case of enzyme electrodes enzyme electrodes in biosensors which are used in biosensors a linear a linear correlation between a linear correlation between the rate of reaction and substrate between the rate of reaction and substrate is desirable but in case of enzyme electrodes uh, which are used in biosensors a linear correlation between the rate of reaction and substrate is desirable so that we can calibrate our device so that we can calibrate our biosensor so uh, hence hence in such cases high alpha is desirable okay chai alpha is desirable now the magnitude of edr uh, can be known by another very important uh, factor which is called as uh, effectiveness factor the magnitude of, the magnitude of edr can be conveniently expressed by means of the effectiveness factor and what is this effectiveness factor it is a general terminology which means that uh, by how much times is the normal process different from the altered or changed process so effectiveness factor
effectiveness factor is the ratio of it is represented by neta by the symbol neta and it is in our case in this case it is the ratio of the rate of reaction under the influence of edr and that in the absence of edr hence it is the ratio of effective effective or observed kinetics effective or observed kinetics to the intrinsic kinetics of the enzyme so the effective kinetics which we would which we would uh, be obtaining or studying would be due to the availability of the substrate to the enzyme and that will depend upon the substrate concentration within the stationary phase and the intrinsic kinetics if uh, the enzyme has just the altered properties due to immobilization that is its km and vmax has just been altered due to immobilization but there is no mass transfer limitation there is no partition or the bulk substrate is reaching the enzyme then at that stage the intrinsic kinetics would be dependent upon the bulk substrate concentration okay this would be our effectiveness factor and in terms of the dimensionless terms we can write it down as a more simpler equation and it would become what we can do we can uh, this vmax terms is common we will cancel out uh, later but we will take km common from the de denominators so we will get vmax dash ss upon 1 plus ss upon km upon km now this divisor would come into the denominator and would become vmax vmax dash sb and this denominator again we will take km constant from it and this would come into the numerator and it would become 1 plus sb upon km and the km which we had taken constant would be here okay so now it becomes our vmax terms gets cancelled so effectiveness factor becomes this is ss upon km this is ds and we have one plus this sb upon km is beta b now this term is sb upon km sb upon km is beta bulk and within brackets it will be ss upon km is beta s so it will be beta s 1 plus beta bulk upon beta bulk within brackets 1 plus beta s in the dimensionless substrate form this will be our effectiveness factor Okay. So now, uh, how can we determine the kinetic parameters uh, from from such cases from from this uh, EDR after immobilization? 
Now after immobilization, it has been observed that if we plot, let me write, uh, take some space here. It has been observed that when we perform experiments, a lot of experiments uh, with the immobilized enzyme at different substrate concentrations, and we plot a reciprocal plot, one upon V dash and one upon S bulk. Okay we get a curve of this sort and in the initial conditions when the substrate concentration is high we get two extreme conditions in the initial conditions when we get a set of linear points at which the substrate concentration is considerably high And another extreme case at which again we get a linear set of points and if we inter, uh, extrapolate these points they come to join at the origin. This is a straight line since my curve has uh, been a little shifted this side so it should have been a little more that side so I, I could have drawn a straight line or I can redraw it. I can redraw it. Redraw it. No, let's draw a straight line from this. Let's draw a straight line from this, and at the end, we'll get a curve. Okay. Now this is, I think, a much better curve. So this is first case slope of first case and this will be the slope of second case. Now in the first case substrate concentration is very high. The bulk substrate concentration is very high and it is uh, we can say that in case one we can write down here as again this is another case in this case beta bulk is very much greater than 1 that means the bulk substrate concentration is very much greater than the its value of km Hence the reaction is kinetically limited. Since the bulk concentration is high, the availability of substrate is not an issue. The mass transfer is not an issue. Therefore, the reaction is kinetically limited. The reaction is kinetically limited. So, uh, the reaction, the, all the reactions here, all the uh, kinetics here would be governed by michaelis menten kinetics. And we know that on the reciprocal plot uh, using the line weaver burk equation, when we reciprocate the michaelis menten equation, we get the line weaver burk equation and it is given as 1 upon V dash Km upon V max dash 1 upon S bulk plus 1 upon V max dash. Okay. Now the slope, this slope 1 comes out to be slope 1 comes out to be Km upon V max dash. Now we are doing all these things. Now uh, we have st started this to determine the kinetic parameters. Like I said before, this is due to determination. You can, uh, this is subheading. 
for this topic determination of kinetic parameters kinetic parameters okay so the intrinsic uh, v max value and the km value can be obtained using this case when uh, the bulk concentration is very very high now during experimentation also we will start with certain bulk concentrations when the, the when we are getting a particular rate of reaction at very high bulk concentration then we will decrease the bulk concentration and we will try to obtain as linear plot as possible if we are not getting linear plot on uh, decreasing the bulk concentration we will further increase the bulk concentration towards more uh, left end of this plot okay this is a plot of 1 upon sb so as the uh, bulk concentration increases uh, the value of 1 upon sb will decrease okay so we have to obtain a linear plot to obtain the slope so we should have three four five points at least to have a linear uh, slope okay so from that slope we can find out the intrinsic parameters of the immobilized enzyme now at the other extreme at the other extreme what is happening our substrate concentration is con con uh, continuously getting decreased and it will reach to a minimum value where mass transfer hindrances will play a major role and the, the reaction now will become diffusion limited rather than kinetically limited so in the second case what will happen now beta bulk has reduced to a very low values to very low values and it it might be less than 1 so this implies that the bulk substrate concentration is very much less than the michaelis menten constant and the reaction is the reaction is diffusionally limited the reaction becomes diffusionally limited so now our kinetics the michaelis menten kinetics can be written as v v max dash now uh, since the bulk concentration is low and uh, this uh, the concentration is at the surface will still more below because when the bulk concentration is high here in this case the value of ss will be op op approximately equal to sb as we have discussed earlier the same case we have discussed earlier and we saw that the substrate concentration at the surface is approximately equal to bulk concentration when bulk concentration of substrate is very high but if the bulk substrate concentration is low then in this case in this case this also implies that our uh, substrate concentration at the surface will be lower than that of the bulk and we are saying that it is very much smaller than the value of km okay so so the relationship between the relationship between km and ss is almost we can neglect ss in front of km so this michaelis menten equation will be reduced to this michaelis menten equation will be reduced to v equals to v max dash ss upon km now in our uh, from our previous derivation of 
of the dimensionless form the dimensionless form of the steady state equation we know that we already know we know that beta not minus beta as this was the equation we had obtained alpha beta s alpha beta s upon 1 plus beta s okay. now from this equation from this equation we know that what now if you uh, convert this equation uh, back to its normal form we have sb sorry this is sb sb upon km minus ss upon km equals to alpha and this will also get reduced and we will have 1 plus ss upon km okay ss when we will expand it and we know that km is a larger value ss is smaller value this becomes more much 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 more smaller value and hence this value is uh, is uh, very much less than 1 so we can write it down as we can write the reason also here ss upon km is very much less than the value 1 because sb is less than km very much less than km okay and again ss is less than km so this is a lesser value and of course this value is going uh, normally it is going to be less than 1 but here in this case it is going to be very very less than 1 so we can neglect it and this could be rewritten as sb minus ss upon km is equal to alpha ss upon this would become just 1 and here we have km so km gets cancelled by km this equation is reduced to sb minus ss equals to alpha ss now we have a relationship for the substrate concentration at the surface so this at low at low substrate uh, concentration i mean low bulk substrate concentration this would be the relationship ss would become sb minus ss upon alpha now substituting this value into our equation in this case this is our first sub equation now replacing value of ss or we can say substituting into equation now what we have is v equals to v max dash upon km and this becomes sb minus ss upon alpha Oh, I have substituted it in the wrong manner. Uh, we need a small correction, a slight correction, and that is from this stage. 
there needs we need to find the value of ss and uh, the value of ss is not completely evaluated here up till now so what we'll do this would become alpha ss and this minus ss can be taken here and it will become plus ss and here we will have left sb now we can take ss common from this side and we will have 1 plus alpha for convenience we are writing 1 plus alpha or else alpha plus 1 is also fine sb so now the value of ss would turn out to be sb upon 1 plus now this is correct now this will be replaced into equation first okay we have got the slope one value i won't write this because this is what is required later okay. now substituting value of ss into equation first now we have v equals to v max dash upon km and instead of ss we can write sb upon 1 plus alpha sb upon 1 plus alpha now on reciprocating this equation we will get if we reciprocate this equation because we have to plot a graph between uh, 1 upon v dash sorry i am not taking v dash here this would be v dash this would be v dash because this is intrinsic kinetics not the normal inside kinetics so we have to represent it by a different symbol so it should be v dash so now uh, on reciprocating on reciprocating we get 1 upon v dash which, which is our y axis is equal to km upon v max dash 1 plus alpha and 1 upon sb okay 1 upon v dash is equal to km upon v max dash 1 plus alpha 1 upon sb so now from here what we are getting again this is equation for straight line and if we plot the second slope that we will get will be the value of the second slope will be km upon v max dash into 1 plus alpha so we can find the value of dan polar number using the two slopes So using these two cases, we can find out the value of dan Kohler number as well as the intrinsic uh, kinetic parameters using this experimental procedure. One time we have to perform the experiment at very high concentrations of uh, bulk substrate and, and at another time we have to perform experiments at very low concentrations of uh, bulk substrate concentration and we uh, need to uh, see that we are getting a few points that are linear. So if we get a few, point, uh, a linear, uh, a few linear points then we can uh, draw the slope and calculate the slope of the of those linear points and uh, get our kinetic parameters as well as the damp color number okay now we'll meet in the next lecture with more topics so stay tuned thank you